Now that we have our Flash character or Flash Penguin puppet created, we can work at animating it using the timeline and using keyframes and also these nested movie clips. Once again, movie clips within movie clips within movie clips. So first of all, what we'll do is let's see if we can put a head turn onto the penguin. So what I'm going to do is I've got this penguin movie clip and you can see it says here penguin, right? Up here is the instance name that we've given it. And I'm going to double click on it. And now I'm in symbol editing mode and you can see here that Time, scene one is over here and MC dash penguin is over here. So now I'm inside and you can see that the timeline has changed, right? I have layers here, right? And on each layer I have a piece of the character. So I'm no longer in scene one. So once again, scene one is here with the whole piece. And if I double click, I go into symbol editing mode and now I'm inside and I can see these multiple pieces. So what we'll do is we'll add some frames here. So I'm going to, let's say, scroll over to, let's say, 150. I'll highlight, click and drag all of these, and then hit F5. So now this animation basically plays. Of course, nothing happens because we only have one keyframe. But you can see it plays for 150 frames. And when it finishes, it will loop automatically back to the beginning. Now what I want to do is turn the head. So we can see the head up, up here at the top. So what I'll do is I'll lock all of the layers and then unlock the layer that I want to work on, which is the head layer. I'll go out here to, let's say, frame 40, and I'll put a keyframe. So I'll right-click, insert keyframe, right? And I want to basically flip the head. Now before I do this, what I can do is is I can use this center point, right? The controls control Z here. The center point to be the axis upon which the movie clip rotates or flips or does anything. So to access this center point, this this white circle in the center of my movie clip, I'm going to get the transform tool. And then if I click right on the center there, I can move that white circle. And I'm going to put it right there in the center of the head. I actually kind of like that as an eyeball, too. Maybe I should put an eyeball there. We'll do that later. So now this circle that's part of the booby clip has been moved to the center of the head. And I'll go back to my selection tool. And I'm going to do a modify. Let's see here. Modify transform flip horizontal. And you can see that is flipped on the axis for where that circle is, right? So moving that circle was helpful. So now in the animation, you can see that if I hit control play or enter on the keyboard, it flips over there. Now I'll stop that. I want it to flip back. So what I'll do is, is I'll let that stay for a while. And then let's say here on frame 80, I will insert a keyframe right click insert keyframe and then once again select the head and modify transform flip horizontal for it to flip back so now if I create a movie out of it hit control enter on the keyboard to publish a swift movie you'll see that the head switches back and forth and it does so on an interval based on how many frames are on the timeline as I'm planning this out, I want to be aware that the timeline is set right now to 24 frames per second. So if I count out 24 frames, I can tell that after the first flip of the head or turn of the head, we go from 40 to 80. And so that'll be approximately, let's say, uh, three seconds or two seconds or less than two seconds, right? So 40, 80 minus 40 is uh, 40. And so that'll be a little bit under two seconds. So now we have a little piece of animation. Now what I also want to do is flap the wings slightly. So what I'm going to do is I'll unlock the wings here. So right wing and left wing, I'll lock that. And what I want to do is I want to select the wing, get the free transform tool, and move the center point up to the shoulder area of the wing, right, where the so I can rotate it. All right, we'll say, there we go. 
And then I'll select the other wing and move that center white circle, which will help us with rotation, creating an axis or a pivot on which things can um, uh, flip or rotate. All right, let's see here. We'll do that right there. That looks good. Okay, so that's set. So now what I want to do is after the head flips, let's say, what we can do is we can go to the right wing, insert a keyframe, and then rotate. I'll, using the transform tool, I'll put the cursor near the box until I see the curved arrow, and then I'll rotate slightly, right? And then I'll skip two frames and insert a keyframe and rotate a little bit more, right? So now you can see that it goes up and then we want it to come back down. So two frames ahead, insert keyframe, and we want it to go back down to its original position. Now, let's see here if I can get it back to the original position. I'll go back to the original keyframe, and I'll select the object, and I'm going to use the um, information to do this. So what I'll do is, is I'll go to the transform and I can see that the rotation is negative 15.7. So notice I'm in the transform panel here. So negative 15.7. So what if I, if I go back to this keyframe where I want to put it back to the original place that it started in, I can click on the transform window and rotate it to negative 15.7 and hit enter and now it goes back to its original position. So that's handy. So I've done that now with this arm and now I want to do the same thing with the other one. So I'll put a keyframe and I'll rotate it slightly and put another keyframe and rotate it a little bit more and then on the third keyframe I want to put it back to its original position so I'll scroll back to the beginning of the timeline, select it, select the object first, the, the movie clip, go to my transform window, see that it's 28.7, this object right here, this movie clip. So now that I know that, I'll select the keyframe here, select the movie clip, transform window 28.7 and hit enter, and now it goes back to the normal spot. So now, if we play our animation, you'll see the head turns and the wings sort of flap. And if I want to, I can maybe have the wings flap more than that. Let's see if we can do that. What I'll do is I'll copy these frames right here and I'll right click. Notice how I just click and drag, right? So click and drag. So click and drag to highlight them. I'll right click copy frames. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. I'll scroll ahead and one, two, three, four, five, and then right click and paste frames. So now I have two scenarios where that happens. Now I don't need this extra keyframe right here so I'll clear that keyframe. Right click, clear that keyframe. And so now, if I hit Control Enter on my animation, you can see that the head turns and the wings flap. And so we have a little animation here that loops, and it's a reusable block. So that's pretty nice. If I go back to scene one, you can see that Penguin is here, right? And it's a little character. But if I wanted to, I could go into the library and I could drag out multiple instances of this penguin and I could even change their sizes, right? And hit Control Enter and you can see that they all seem to do the same thing which is pretty neat here. Um, they're a little bit too in unison. We could solve that slightly by maybe modify, transform, and flipping this one horizontal, and you can see that 
now it looks like there's a little variety there.